Have other folks joined the meeting? Councilor Goodrich. Here. Councilor Coppell. Here. Councilor Lipke. Here. Councilor Rutledge. Here. And it's so all councilor is present. So just before the meeting, um, I got a few things I'd like to say. Uh, before we begin the business of the meeting, I'd like to inform council that we, we have not received letters of resignation from Councilor Goodrich and Lipke as we requested back on October the 6th, 2021. I am considerably disappointed and appalled uh, by the October 27th meeting and the conduct of these councillors. And so I'm formally asking tonight and I'd like to reply. Councillor Budrick, will you respect councillor's request and resign? Councillor Budrick, did you hear me? I have heard you, Mayor Keller, and all due respect, you have not received my resignation, and I think that speaks for itself. Um, I, I'm not here to, 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 I'm here to fulfill my duties. Okay. Uh, Councillor Litke, will you respect Council's request and resign? No, I'm going to stay on at this time. Okay. Okay, so disclosure of interest on anyone's part with the matters before us tonight. I have pecuniary interest for, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so with payments. Okay. <clears throat> All right, receipt. I also have a pecuniary interest to declare with regards to payments for um, cost for investigative services, of course, only for the ones related to, to allegations made against me. Okay, so um, as usual, uh, fill out the form and submit that to staff. Okay, so we have no minutes to adopt. Um, we have no deputations. Uh, so we're right away, we're down to reports, uh, the public's work report. So I guess, Dan. Charlie won't be on, I don't think. Eh? I'll take Charlie's on. Well, he won't be his number. 2509. 2415. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So, yeah. I was under the perception that he wouldn't be present. So, mm -hmm. just. Yeah, no, thanks for anything. Yeah. Right, I attempted to make contact with Charlie today to see if he had anything to report with the roads. And as far as I'm concerned, and as far as I'm aware, there is no road report to submit tonight. Okay. Okay. I, I, I know it's been only a week since our last meeting. So if there was something to report, I knew it wouldn't be very much. It, so. Um, so we have no clerk's report. Okay. okay. Um, fire chief report, Jordan. I have nothing new since the last meeting. Okay, thank you. Um, building inspector, none. Uh, waste management. I know there is a little issue there, but Tammy, that you can just you can uh, give council the information. So, with direction from our last meeting, I've done a little bit more research. Uh, I did find out today that the Kenworth repairs to the turbo are completed. And although I contacted them prior to November 1st, they are on holidays till the end of hunting season, and they won't be able to provide a quote for the box removal until they return. We had asked for a quote for that. Um, I did email all the councillors and mayor a package today that had some information on used and new trucks and different options available to us. I printed a copy for you guys on site. Um, AM trucks is a, they would 
A new purchase for $247,000 and the details on the truck itself is attached. They have a used truck for sale. It is a 2012 International. There's a package attached to that as well. I give you all the details. It is being sold as is, where is. If we want to have a safety check done on it, we will do that at the cost of $800 plus tax. So we'll find out what it would for a safety. And I'm also waiting on a delivery quote. Should we go that way? How much would it cost out of delivery? Cost of use of them is twenty nine thousand. He's on the second page. Yeah, okay, that's easier now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And it is available for immediate delivery unless we want them to do the safety. In Thunder Bay. In the Thunder Bay, yeah. The other company I contacted, the truck rental, or also known as um, Route Ready, they purchase uh, garbage trucks new and they rent them out. For a span of 18 to 24 months. After that time period, they pull them from the rental fleet, they recondition them, safety, emissions, and OEM service, and sell them. So anything you purchase for them is going to be less than two years old. The price reflects that. If you wanted to purchase a used one from them, they have a couple options there in the forms attached. They also do a rent to purchase. So you could rent it and 25% of your rental fees will be applied to the rental purchase. Yeah. To the purchase. And then they also rent. So you could rent a truck on them. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, I, I didn't get the package. Was that sent by email or how did how was that received? I don't have that. It was sent by email from the clerk's email address this afternoon. Okay, I, I'm, I apologize, but I didn't receive it. So, uh, if you did purchase a used truck from them, it also comes with the balance of the five year extended warranty that was purchased when they bought the truck, plus a 30 day body warranty from them personally. I do not have a quote from MTERA yet. They, were, they are willing to do a two to three month short term contract, but I don't have any numbers for that yet. I think that was all council requested of me from last meeting for research. So, mm -hmm. unfortunately, I've not had a chance to give these to Charlie to look over for the recommendation yet. Mm -hmm. The only other thing I have to report on the waste report is the ministry will be coming this coming Wednesday, November 10th, for a follow up inspection from our last inspection when we were given orders. How many years have we been left on our site? Well, uh, we're waiting for the expansion to come through, which we have gotten approval to go ahead and use because we are at capacity. Yeah. It should be coming through that. Weeks. I'm not sure what the what the lifespan is. It's going to depend on how quickly it builds up. My reason for asking that question would be first used, first new. You know, uh, if if we have ten years out there, so we only need to check for ten years. Well, I go on a new truck. You know, uh, if you only have <clears throat> two or three years or whatever, then go with something that's lesser value than at the end of that term. I can't give you the exact timeline of the expansion lifespan, but it's more it than two or three years. Yeah. Well, that's it, just, yeah. No, it's more than. Oh, more than. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's quite near. Yeah. It's, it's it's like, it's quite yeah, yeah, it's about, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say exactly what they estimate. I mean, they estimated. Expansion based on yearly amounts coming in, right? And yeah, that's what they basically. And every year that seems to be going up too. It does. Have to... Waste does seem to be increasing, so the yeah. number they're providing us with an estimate may yeah. not be accurate. The more people move into the country, the more you're going to yeah. have. Yeah, and you do have, I find, as more people move into this, probably more people doing renovation, which generates a lot of waste, right? So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so there, is this something you would like to take back to Charlie to, to look at and then bring back a recommendation to council? If you would like a recommendation from Charlie, I'm more than willing to do that. That yeah. probably won't be till next week before I so. sell. Yeah. If it's a decision that needs to be made prior to our December meeting, like we need to get trucks on the road ready for winter. And, and, and right now we're using two of them at the site. So yeah, and we have to decide what we're gonna if we want to fix the other truck, right? Yeah. 
And I think that decision we decided that once they get the box off, yeah, see what the rest of the frame of tanks and yeah. So I'm waiting on a quote for how much it's going to be to get the box off. That was my direction. Yeah. So once I get that, I can pass that along to you guys. But and you're not going to get to the work any sooner because it is two weeks of. Yeah. Was this not something once again just based on the um, meeting we just had that ideally whatever that would be the department head would look into the the cost and simply give us a report based on the information he gathered what he would ask council to do with that truck is that not are are we implementing that now or or what should we expect I'm not sure what your question is. Um, when when we talked, Trevor just asked the question about, well, once the box is off, then we can digest that information and make a decision. But based on the meeting we just had, the special meeting, where it was conveyed that ideally the department head would gather all that information and give us a report as to what his recommendation is to do with that, just so that moving forward, if that is in fact what council is supposed to do, um, sh should we be making an effort starting today that that is what we do so that rather than all of that information coming to council for us to rehash like we did at the last meeting, that simply we would get a recommendation from the department head and we would either accept the recommendation or not, or am I wrong? What would your recommendation be? Staff, to answer any of this question, like I was kind of reading this at the same time, but because I'm just, I guess, my thought is right now is do you want to spend the money and take the box off to see how much it's going to be cost to repair it when you could maybe, like, we've already got a, <clears throat> a quote of what was over 40,000. And it may be more than that. So I'm wondering how much is it going to cost for them to actually take the box to look at the problem in the first place? Are, are we really beating a dead horse or? <coughs> Excuse me. I, I, I guess don't... my question, sorry, to that would be, is that not for Charlie or the road, the, the department head to, to do that thought process and bring his recommendation to council? Is, is that not what we just heard? It is, yes, but I guess if council wants an opinion in it and the only the opinions can be it can be given here at a council meeting to staff as far as other avenues you may wish to pursue. Okay, I just want a clarification if we were implementing it right away. Yeah. It, it, right now we can stop from my understanding the turbo is repaired. Yeah, yeah. the turbo is repaired. So literally we could say thank you. Here's the yeah. cost yeah. for the turbo and yes. the, yeah. And, yeah. and take that forty thousand dollars, sell that truck and uh, compactor, and put that money against either a very slightly used one yeah. or new truck. Yeah, and that's kind of where I was going with that thought. I just want council's opinion on that to see what they think of that. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Simply because if if you went with with a new one, and I'm not saying we have to go with no, but no, I'm but just quickly looking at these specs. Yeah. Uh, with an automatic transmission, you're you're certainly giving um, choose great words. A non-experienced driver can get along with this a whole lot simpler. Well, it's the same thing with fire truck. You know, bursting. Regardless, it's only the DZ, but. Pardon? Regardless or not, you still need the DZ license. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not a stance. Exactly. Exactly. Or you can take that truck to do the licensing. Yeah. So, if I might, yes. Yeah. I think that Councillor Lipke's point is, is well taken. Mm -hmm. And I think that now you could ask Council to make a decision yeah. as to whether or not you want to proceed with the purchase of something. Yes. Or not. I think that's the first decision to make. And I was just going to say that actually, I think, and whether the other councils agree with it, we're not interested in fixing that one. I guess the next step would be for staff, we already know the price of a new one. Um, 
I guess we, we would have to find out if council was interested in the price of that used one. But. So I think what Andrea was getting at okay. for the future, yeah. she's probably, because of our previous discussion, yeah. this would be something on the Charlie would be yeah. interested in saying we're doing that. Yeah. Right? Yes. But because our policies aren't in place right now, this is why we're looking at this, right? Yeah. So what years are our truck dollar garbage truck? 2004. 2004. The, the box is newer than the drop the drop the box used. Yeah. The box would be let's take the back of the stock. Okay. I would I, I, I suggest it would have to be a little bit Yeah, we'd have to deal with it. Okay. Okay, so uh, I guess my thought is we take this we take it back to staff and then do a little more to research, show it to Charlie, whatever it may be. And if we need a special meeting to deal with this. Before the next regular meeting, we will. So, the council's happy with that. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a delivery date too of a uh, new truck that we were. On the new truck or the used in 2012? I thought I read that this one was ready to go. Both of them are. Both of them are. This one is available for me. My only thinking of, of new. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, eight or ten years old already, and we think it's old fast enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we want to so. Resolution. She wants. She's writing a resolution. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead. That the Council of uh, Brunel, Lindock, and Raglan um, agrees to not repair, to, to invest any further repairs in the Wayside Compactor. Okay, so the resolution says that council of BLR agrees to not repair the 2000 Kenworth compactor. So, mover on that. Councilor Ritke. Councilor Ritke. Seconder, Councilor Rutledge. All in favor? Yes. Yes. Trevor? I'm, I'm not yes. in favor. You're not in favor? Okay. So I'm still... not in favor. I, I would have liked Charlie, Charlie to make that recommendation. It's still carry. Okay. Can I ask them the investor here? Yeah, you may. The trucks that we're using for garbage now, are they all trucks? Yeah. So like we're gonna to have to make a decision fairly quickly to sell yeah, the no. next week. No, exactly. Yeah, we uh, yeah. 25 cubic yards is what our, our old yeah. strawberry was, right? 22 at Okay, I, I know it was the biggest at the time. Okay, so that's it for waste management. Then. Okay, thank you, Tammy. Yeah. Uh, recreation for Robert, if any, <clears throat> nothing. Okay, uh, and of course, we had an update from health and safety last week, so I didn't expect nothing tonight. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah. oh, yes, you can. We can go back to that. Okay, so uh, saying that, I know um, Valerie was not. Uh, here when we I announced the clerk's report, uh, of course she'd like to go back to that. So. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the township for um, inviting me to come in and um, I do some clerk work for you. It has been an experience. It was good to get back into the field, and uh, I feel that at the, this point you need someone that's going to be able to spend more time and. Um, it's time for me to move on. So I'd like to thank you for giving me that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I, I really personally like to thank you, Valerie, from the bottom of my heart. Um, it's uh, it's always interesting to work with somebody new. And um, I definitely learned a lot from you. Thank you. We all have. Yes, we have. Best of luck. Good luck. All the best. Yeah, thank you. Okay. And 
Yeah, we're down to payments. Okay. Resolution says that, <clears throat> excuse me, that we, the council for the township of Green Island, Dock and Rangel, hereby approve the general account voucher number 10 in the amount of $118,319.49. Approve the account voucher number 10 in the amount of $177,000.5. Recreation account voucher number 10 in the amount of $402.03. The bicentennial park account voucher. Number 10 in the amount of $605. So, any mover on that, counselors? I can. Oh, great, you can. So, Councilor Ricky. Uh, seconded by Councilor. Yeah, I'll second it. Rutledge. And all in favor, those that can. Yes. Okay. And that's carried. Well, can I ask a question? Yes. To pay? So for the future, we probably won't be receiving it. We'll be just receiving probably the quarter, the very next quarter. Okay. 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 We didn't have an opportunity to review the variance reports. Is that something that was missed or by um, oversight or uh, no, it was uh, not an oversight. If you if there is something from the variance that you wish to comment on, you may. Okay, I just and again just um, thinking about the meeting we just had, where it was referenced about things that we should be talking about when it comes to bill payments, and you know that the check ledger shouldn't necessarily be coming over the over the council table, but the variance reports are important. And I, I would once again draw attention, council's attention to the uh, variance in, in wages on the fire department and that we're at minus 29.76%. And again, I don't know if perhaps the new direction, some new folks involved will address that. Um, but I do think it's important that we not, I, I think it's important that that is something that council does have a role or an obligation to stay on top of. And, and that we have a plan of how we're going to deal with that. Okay, so Councillor, I, I think you should be aware of that discrepancy. I will not go into details of it because that is confidential information. But like I said- I'm, I I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I don't understand. What, I, I'm not sure what you're meaning by that. So if you wish, I can talk to you in private about that sometime. Sure, if, 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 if it's a, as again, I'm not looking at specific details to a specific person. I'm just saying that there is a large, a sizable variance. Um, and again, whether we need to address it in closed or not, it, it's just a matter that it shouldn't be overlooked, I don't think. And I, yeah. and I would just, yeah, so we perhaps can we can have that on a future agenda. Yeah, we can, we'll definitely bring that back for discussion in a closed session of council if necessary. So. Thank you. Okay, um, yeah, we're down to. Mm -hmm. no, okay. Oh, sorry, and we're down to, uh, I make one severances. So. Um, I would like to speak to the severances because I was, uh, I did speak with the county regarding this when I was doing the agenda. And uh, this is a, a, a creation of five new lots, but the five cottages are already there. It's a family, like it's a father and children. So the five cottages are already there. The wells are there, the septics are there. Um, the county had them do a hydrogeology study where they they looked at the land and and checked tests and done all that. So from our point of view, we don't have any issues to be concerned about. The county will address anything that they have. Like I know there's going to be some rezoning in that. Um, anything that would deal with entrances, it's on the county road. So really, we don't have any concern just at the conditions of the county land division. 
I got no concern. I was just kind of curious as to how did the five mm -hmm. buildings <laughs> get oh. there without being severed in the first place. Some of them are very, very old and have been over the years brought more up to date. Like, I don't know if you know, it's on the end of Lake Gorman mm -hmm. where there was some really old cottages originally. And I think they just built kind of onto over the years. So it's never really- This is, for lack of better words, this is on the, the ongoing end of Lake Gorman, right? Like if yeah. you come no, 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 that's a different. This is on the other end. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was looking at it wrong. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the older cottages that were on that. Yeah, no, they and they built a lot of new ones there. Okay. Yeah. But we don't have it. We shouldn't have any concerns. Okay. So uh, I don't know. How do they have access to them? There's a there's an entrance in our road, and they'll have to get zonings for. Um, access off of a private road so that they'll be limited service residential and all that, but that's the county to work that out. So that's at the top of the hill? When they no, up. at the bottom. Um, um, once you go, if you're coming down the hill, you go past the public beach yeah. and right, right, right there on okay. the end of the lake. Because yeah. there's other properties at the top of the hill that go into some cottage lots there. Yeah, Could that. be, yeah. Not Okay, it says so. The resolution says that the townships of Bridge on Lundock and Raglan approved land severance application B70 slash 20, B71 slash 20, B72 slash 20, B73 slash 20, and B74 slash 20 from Sean Whalen, Stan A. Williams, Teresa Van Grazen, Daniel Whalen, and Sarah Chambers for creation of five separate lots with the following conditions. All the conditions as listed in the County of Rector Planning Report. Concerning this division of land. Uh, any mover on that? Councillor? Councillor Caldwell. Seconder. Councillor. Yeah, yeah. Councillor Rutledge. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. And that's carried. Uh, yeah, so we have no lie on. And we're down to other business, uh, 10 1. So, Virginia. We have one, three. Oh, okay. okay, so Virginia is currently the emergency management coordinator and public information officer. It would be appropriate at this time to appoint Tammy Thompson as the public information officer. So the resolution says that the township through the Lindock and Raglan here by appoint Tammy Thompson as public information officer for emergency management. Uh, I need a mover on that, Councillor Lipke. Uh, seconder, Councillor Rutledge, all in favor? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's carried. Yeah, Sorry if, my apologies if you had any comments <laughs> before I asked for both. <laughs> And you're done. So okay, so scary. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm just looking for the resolutions. <laughs> so currently we have only signing authority at the bank for checks from administration. Uh, it's not a good situation should happen that Virginia is not available. It would be appropriate this time that Tammy be appointed the second signing authority for administration. So the resolution says that the township of Brunel and Knock and Raglan hereby appoint Tammy Thompson as the alternate signing authority for the Bank of Montreal from administration. So I need a mover on that resolution. I can move. Uh, Councillor Kaufeld. Seconded by Councillor Lickey. Uh, discussion and any hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor? Yes. 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 And that's carried. Okay, um, I guess we've done those. Yeah, okay, okay. so yeah, we got those uh, resolutions from the special closed meeting after, uh, when we come back in the open. So, okay.
moving right along. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the resolution says that council will to closed session pursuant to the Municipal Act 2001, Section 2392B. Subject matter is identifiable individual, including municipal employees. I need a mover on that. Councillor? No. <laughs> I've seen Trevor put it up in yeah. So Trevor Lickey, uh, secondary counselor, sure count. Okay. So how can we do that? Stay there and All in favor? Yes. Yes. That's fine. Okay, that's so that's carried. So will I call the same number once again, or is there another number? So we're just working out the details here, Andrew. I'll let you know what to do in a minute. So. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh... Yeah, no, that's that's fine. That's fine. We'll call you. We okay? So we will call you. Uh, Andrew with the details. Thank you. <laughs> 